Hello again, Eridos here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the MSG Freestyle Cannon. Another one of the Koei Bikia weapon series. And it's not going to be much of a complicated build today, to, uh, tonight. As you can see, not very many parts. Some parts have to be cut out for painting. So, without further ado, let's get this started. First off, we'll glue these pieces together. And anyone dealing with Koyabakia models, it is a good idea to take some plastic cement to the model. Just carefully dab it in there. Don't squeeze too much. Just have enough to make sure that sticks together. Okay, this will form the barrel of our gun. Or bazooka, as it were. You can see I have nice silver paint and some gunmetal gray on the bottom here for some nice color separation. Okay, let's take these pieces out. I'm gonna need my clippers. Gotta be careful not to clip too close to it, but I also want to make sure that we have it as flush as possible. Okay, I need to get close up to this. Okay, let me check. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shave off a little bit here. I am a professional, so I would suggest making sure to have a lot of practice before you even try this. Well, okay, I'm technically not a professional, but I am close enough to being one to know how to be careful with this thing. Okay, just gotta be careful. Just shaving off the excess plastic. I should go this way. Okay. Oh, don't want the exact one to roll off the table. Now let's see. I also need piece three, which is right here. And piece. Hmm. Piece 11, which is over here. Come on. Okay, I got that part really flush when I cut that one. Let's see, check this one. No rough edges, so that should be good. Now, let's see. It needs to go like this into here. This piece, let's see, should go right about here, I think. Let me double check. Hmm. Probably should be easier to put it on over here. I don't have space to see what I'm doing. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I got the piece slid in properly now. Now then before we continue, more glue. Let's see, into this large piece right here in here. Don't want to put too much or else I'm going to have to rub it off. And just a little dab in each hole will do ya. 
Okay, let's get this other piece in. There we go, nice and snug. Okay, next up, we need these two pieces over here. Again, lightly dab a little glue in the holes. Don't want to get it too close to where the joint is. Okay, there we go. Now let's see. It goes like this, I believe. Because this is supposed to hinge down. Okay, I'm gonna have to. A little stubborn, aren't we? There we go. Nice, flush, and in place, fully jointed. Okay, next up we need piece 10. I just saw that here. Gonna need my clippers. Okay, it's just gonna be easier for me to have it near my head. Uh, near. Oh, I don't mean like the clippers near my head, I mean. Where I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Piece cut. It feels flush. So let's see. It goes right into the C clip right here, I believe. Oh, wait. I got this backwards. Goes like that. Another hinge. And I do believe that is where the handle goes. Okay, we put this in. We're not going to glue this in. Unless it looks like I need to. Barrel's taking shape. Got to pop this off. Okay, nice and flush again. It goes right on the top of the barrel here. Don't think I'm going to need to glue that in. Okay, piece four. Snip, snip, snip. Okay, it is all flush and ready. Need this piece to snip and snip. Okay, this piece goes into here. Hmm. I put this on here first. like that. Nice little rail on there. Oh wait, I got that in incorrectly. It's supposed to be further down. Okay, I do believe that's where it's supposed to go. Double checking picture. No, that has to be pulled back just a hair. Wait, I think this is supposed to be... Yeah, I think this is supposed to be movable. Okay. That's the main part of the gun done. Now for the handle. We just trim this off. Let me just go back here a bit. Yeah, all that's nice and flush so I don't have to worry about anything. The handle just goes in like so. Now then, it looks nice and finished, but we still have one more piece left. Just give me a second to trim these out. Okay, that's one. These aren't the numbers for the pieces, I'm just 
counting numbers here. That's the second piece. And the third piece, which is extremely tiny, and I have to be very careful. There we go. Now then part two it says to go like this. And before that, I gotta glue this piece together. Again, as stated before, if you are working with Koyobakiya models, use plastic cement in the little holes like so. Okay, clip this in very carefully. Make sure we got all the nice lines lined up and ready. And this piece hmm, slides in like so. And it can come out and be mounted the other way. You're probably wondering what this piece is for. I will show you right now. It goes like so. If you're wondering still, this is so you can mount it on the back of your robot and it can hinge out. Or you can just mount it like that and have it hinge down if it's like out of ammo or something. Also, if you're wondering about this, this is probably like how to reload it or something. Your kit, your imagination. Anyway, that is the Freestyle Bazooka. Nice little kit. Doesn't take much to paint it. And that's just about all I have to do here. Hope to see you again in the next Let's Build.